Hello, this is Jimmy Mitchell, and we are back with another episode of the Libertarian Uncensored podcast, going over all the posts on the Libertarian Uncensored subreddit. So first we have U.S. bankruptcies jump 18% in 2023 amid high interest rates from the EpicTimes.com by Chabonet. And yeah, I definitely don't think that's because the economy isn't doing too good right now, despite the fact they're trying to make you think it's doing good. It's not really doing too good. And I think a lot of people would agree if Trump was still the president, but since the Biden's the president, you know, they're trying to change the narrative and say, oh, it's actually good, but it's not really doing too good. Then we have German officials ignore farmers' protests to save agricultural fuel tax exemptions from LegalInstruction.com by Chabonet. And I definitely do think, you know, if um the if the officials do want to ignore the protests, I think they should be able to. But that just will show you how authoritarian they they are and how you can't protest the government anymore. And a lot of them is about them coming after you for it. It's like a lot like the Freedom Convoy. You know, they tried to protest the government, and then what did what did Trudeau did what did Trudeau and his administration do? They locked their bank accounts and and um and attempted to uh get everyone who was even donating to them. You know, they, so that's not good. And increasingly, that's why I think we got to resist government authoritarianism because increasingly you're not able to because the, because you're not allowed to you're increasingly not allowed to dissent at all. Though I think the West is slowly becoming China in that regard, in regards to political dissent and how you can't you, it's not you're not able you're slow, you're suddenly not able to be, to do it anymore. Then we have blue states saw highest homeless rates in 2023 from DailyCaller.com. By Chabonet, and I said I didn't comment on that one, but um, yeah, I definitely do think you know a lot of Democrat policies aren't good for stuff when it comes to homelessness because they kind of screw everyone over economically. With that being said, it's true a lot of Republican policies as well because in a lot of sense, I would say the Republican Party is just controlled opposition, and you're really seeing that these days with um, how little they can get done. Like especially economic in regards to economic matters, I would say. Then we have the Libertarian Party of Georgia stance, the U.S. state, not the nation, on Israel from Aaron Silver One. That's a tweet from Libertarian Party of Georgia across posts from the um, Palestine subreddit. And they, the LP Georgia tweeted, Israel is an apartheid state. And I guess I would agree with that. You know, the thing is, is that, um, you know, Israel is definitely does kind of have a lot of elements of the apartheid state and you know that's just kind of how that's kind of how a government is you know government's inherently authoritarian like that and that's why i think you know in a lot of ways you know the israeli government's very authoritarian but so is the palestinian government and i think that's also important to remember you know i think the idea of the government is innately an authoritarian and i think we should just let everyone govern themselves i think that would be the big, the best libertarian solution in the long run, because I think that's what a lot of people do pretty much already, and yeah, I think that's something that people we should we should start thinking about if we were if we really want liberty for all, everyone needs to govern themselves rather than have all these collectivist governments forcing their ideologies down people's throats. Then we have. Do you denounce white supremacy from my book, The New Right, from Michael Malice on Twitter? And I posted that, and I and it's a it's a picture of a list of what the media has labeled white supremacy: things that have been called racist in the press, engaging with other cultures, not engaging with other cultures, noticing other races, not noticing other races, moving out of minority neighborhoods, moving into minority neighborhoods, repeating what a racist said, ignoring what a racist said, uh, expecting people to show up on time, milk. Brownies, picnics, peanut butter and jelly, barbecue, soul food, certain dinosaurs, crime surveillance videos, the Walt Disney statue, marble, believing in hard work, the term marijuana, automatic soap dispensers, grammar, math, reason itself. And I said, um... When everything is racist, nothing will be. Vic really called the alphabet media out on it recently. And, you know, that's the thing, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a racist or a white supremacist, but, you know, I don't want to be bullied or genocided for being white, and that increasingly seems like the direction the media wants to, wants to push people, you know, all this identity politics. You know, it's interesting how um, 
you know, a lot of race relations seem to have gotten worse after the first black president took office. I think that's mainly because the media wants people to divide. You know, after Occupy Wall Street, you know, it was we are the 99% for Occupy Wall Street. And then suddenly, every, they have everyone divided because they're pushing this identity politics narrative. And you see that in the media, and that's why no one takes them seriously anymore. And, well, some people take them seriously, but increasingly people don't take them seriously. And they're realizing them for the frauds that they are. Now we, uh, let's see, and I said, um, also said, um, you know, things when things like nuclear family and hard work have been labeled as white supremacy the, by the media, you know, no one's going to take it ser no one's going to take the term seriously anymore, especially with a loaded question like, do you denounce white supremacy? You know, increasingly, any, uh, any, uh, uh, you know, black on black crime is a lot of, uh, uh, as, as, as a lot of, as a big problem for the black community, but you would never hear the media address that because that would go against their narrative. You know, the media views any dissent at all as either fascism or white supremacy, and that's why no, increasingly, people have realized that they're just, they're just there to push an agenda not to inform. You know, as Michael Malice said, the media, the, 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 they use language to manipulate, not to communicate. And that's something that I'm increasingly, um, I'm glad people are getting increasingly aware of. Then we uh, and also I also said um uh you can you can find uh, Lorfa Branke commented by whom what context and I said look at yourself if you can find them I linked a story from the Guardian from 2015 that says Passiophallosaurus Jurassic World's racist dinosaur it's Passiophallosaurus not Pachysaurus but they haven't stopped some people uh, taking offense at the tiny brain lizard with the thick scaly head because, you know, I guess that's kind of like a slur for Pakistani people. And I, I don't think, you know, that's right. But ultimately, you know, ultimately, it just goes to show you that they, they can declare anything racist that they want to. And now people don't even care what racism is anymore because, you know, it's like it's like they use Nazi constantly. Oh, you're a Nazi if you descend at all. And now no one really cares about being labeled Nazi anymore because ultimately they've watered down the world so, word so much no one really even notices anymore. And we have growing number of California law enforcement say they won't enforce new carrier restrictions from BearingArms.com by Chabonet. And I said, um, they say that, but they always do. And I linked to a tweet from, um, uh... Holly Palermo tweeted, it will, see, it will seem hard and harder back to remember the wise words of Michael Malice. There is no law so obscene that the police are unwilling to enforce it up to, including the mass execution of innocent children. And and that was her quote, quote, tweeting, state troopers raided Amos Miller's Organic Farm Pennsylvania today from Citizens Free Press Farm specializing selling raw milk, organic eggs, grass fed beef, and other nutritious foods to private buyers. And I, I, I agree with that because, you know, ultimately, the state will just find enforcing whatever it wants to enforce, and it doesn't matter what the actual law is. They'll enforce whatever bullshit they want to. Now we have FDA approves Florida's plan to import cheaper drugs from Canada from NPR.org by Zachness. And I think that's good, you know. I think um, we should be able to let people get whatever cheap drugs they want to. Whatever, um... Uh, yeah, so that's my fault on that issue. I think that's good. Then we have, um, what is true philosophy engineered from Pew Pew NDP for on, uh, and that's a YouTube video from, um, philosophy engineered. And they said, um, I'm not the author of the description as follows. Uh, this is the label we assign to all propositions. If we can't agree on the world rules to apply when making the assignment, then there is no point in arguing over anything. My rules follow a rigorous system of pragmatic empirical rationalism. Uh, if your rules follow anything significantly different, then your entire sense of epistemology is irrelevant and worthless to me. And I definitely think you see that these days. You know, if anyone dissents at all, they 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 they, they just they, they just will they just will ignore you and just say whatever they want to. And that's why increasingly there's no point arguing with people because everyone's so set in their ways. I would say it's like talking to a brick wall. Then we have speculation on how the Supremes will rule in the Colorado case. From 2000 time of Trump, that's the self post. They say to you, Trump is a few things you offer him legally. He's not running for president in the primary, but for the nomination of his party, so the 14th Amendment not even apply. Political parties are private corporations that can basically do what they want in terms of who and how they pick a nominee. A more interesting question is where he mailed about in the general election, but the primary election at hand very likely doesn't apply. And I said, um, probably for Trump, unless they want him out of the way so the GOP cannot replace him with someone else. That's why I think how the Supreme Court will rule. 
Then we have short answers against gun control and how to defend Second Amendment from YouTube from 2009 Charmance YouTube video from um uh Wilson Combat. And yeah, I definitely do think, you know, we sh we if, if 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 you should be you should be civilly disobedient. If they try and come for your guns, tell them no. And um if they take them anyway, you know, that just goes to say the government can justify using whatever force they want to. So um, just, just use what, just keep, keep your guns, and if they try and knock on your door, I would just lock it, and, um, j and stand your ground. Then we have how tax-exempt nonprofits skirt U.S. law to turn out the Democratic based in elections from RealClearInvestigations.com by Chabonet. And, yeah, I, I definitely do think you see that these days. You see, um... Increasingly, um, the, the a lot of organizations just exist to boost the Democratic Party. You know, it's, it was the Republican Party as well. People will call them out for it, but you know they'll never call them out the, the, the ones that just exist to support the Democratic Party because that they have the narrative on their side. I would say. Then we have the people that really want to be in charge should never be in charge from Plasma and Fury. They said, I'm referring to politicians, of course. I feel like we should not like politicians. We should draft them for one term. They move on with their lives, treat people with political service like your duty. I think that's a good idea. I personally think, agreed, I would just throw homeless people in government positions. The ones we have in there now could almost certainly just get a job in the private sector anyway. Then we have AG wants Trump banned from New York real estate business for life, fined for nearly 70 million in fraud case from Hoda Store Saudi .com. And, um, that's by Psychological Bell 516. And, um, yeah, it just goes to show you that they'll justify, ba uh, you know, if, if you do, if they, the, the state can justify doing whatever it wants to, even if you're a former president, if the narrative is not on your side. Then we have every white ringer blocked me, so I can't comment on their post, including the spammer Chaba. Any are ever left this bit here being blocked by all right wingers from Winling Dan. And there was a self post. In the course of a few days, every right winger of the span and trolls and so is blocking me. It feels awful suspicious. If it has happened to governors, I wonder what their goal is. People bought product black letters and huge span sub and they call it the bur in the parade. Or all the, or the damn was finally hurting their feelings. Uh, election season is here. And I said, um, uh, they also, they commented, thanks Jim for not blocking me, but at least you're not a coward. We made a screw, at least you don't hide. And I said, you're welcome. I think blocking people goes against free speech. Personally, though, it is arguably freedom of association. Then we have more banning and censoring on a supposedly uncensored subreddit. And I posted that. And I said, our friend Shaba just PM'd me saying they were banned. And I believe the mod censored this post from the new tab. And that was a post from the HodaResaldi.com from Psychological 516. Is the Iowa school, Iowa school shooter was an LGBTQ plus activist. And I said, um, yeah, I believe they, sent, they censored that as well. From Again, I will call you guys out on this every time I see it. You know, ultimately, I don't care for the, it was, some of you. They're saying it's a scam. It's like, but I don't care for scams, slander, defamation, libel, etc. But they also under free, fall under free speech because words aren't violence, no matter how nasty they are. And physical violence is only physical. I don't care for threats, but words aren't violence. So that's my thoughts on that issue. Then we have new data shows migrants are more likely to be released in the, by Trump than Biden from Cato.org from Riddling Dan, and um. Yeah, I definitely do think that's interesting. Um, uh, yeah, I just going to show you that they really aren't different at all, despite how the media markets them. Then we have data shows Trump would have released as many border crossings as Biden from KO.org with Whittling Dan. And, yeah, it's another thing that's pretty much the same story as the last one. Um, they really are much more similar than they are different. Then we have circumcision is a violation of the nap from Donald Key. And that's a cross post from the That's Insane subreddit from Nice Protesting Method America. And it's uh, circumcision, it's a bunch of people signed circumcision, sex, crime. I do not consent. His toy's body is toys, and they all have um, blood on their crotches. So that's interesting. I would, I guess I would agree. And you know, ultimately, if you want to circumcise someone, you should be able to. But I definitely think they should consent. And that's why I don't think we should have infant circumcision like we or newborn circumcision like we do currently. Then we have the Iowa school shooter was an LGBTQ plus activist from 2000 Time of Charm. And that's from the, the that's the website from earlier. I should link right here from earlier. And I'm, and I, and you know, they said, um, uh, because, um, 
They, they said, um, only put the two other times you're calling it only post because we purely shout out and our user did it testing the waters. I mean, that's very good, you know. I personally don't really care for the website or the article, but you know, it's always good to test, um, uh, how censored somewhere is. Then we have, User banned my mods for this quote from 2000's Time of Charm. That was a YouTube link to the John Kennedy speech that said, um, those who make peaceful revolution possible make violent revolution inevitable. And they says, you slash Chabonet was banned over this, not suspended. Mob reasoning, you are the most damn voted poster, the most slag poster, the most true as the most posted there was removed by the right admin, and was complaining about what's your mods privately. Have fun on every side. basically just, we don't like you. And that's what's supposed to show you that they can censor you, even if they brand themselves as uncensored, and that's something why we need to hold them accountable, I would say. And we have Israel's war on Gaza has exposed conformism of the Western media from Jacobin.com by Willing Nan. And I would agree with that very much because, you know, the media won't allow any dissent at all, even if it's something that the left, that the left likes, like the, like, 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 um, supporting Palestine over Israel. They won't allow any dissent on that either. And that's why people are increasingly becoming aware of the frauds that they are. And I think we're gonna wrap up there. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.